Let's apply the aim script with a real life example that I think everybody knows. Let's organize a Christmas party. So the end result would be a Christmas party in December. Why would we make a Christmas party? Well, in order to finish the year together ritually. Probably also in order to celebrate the successes. And maybe also in order to make staff honors. So you see here, all the formulations about the purposes start with in order to, because with in order to, we are always at the benefit or the purpose. So for whom are we doing this? Well, first for sure, we're doing this for the employees of the company. But management should be happy about this as well. So we see if they are dancing as well, they might be happy. But it might make sense to consider also other stakeholders, like for example, the families of the employees. Should the partners be invited, for example? Should we make an extra Christmas party uh, for the kids? And if we want to measure the success, we could start with things like, well, people should have a good mood at the Christmas party. If this should be done in a more smart way or in a smarter way, then we could say, well, if more than 90% stay beyond midnight, this can be considered as a success. And talking about midnight, there should be some surprise effects that people like to talk about that Christmas party. And for sure, for the controllers in the company, the Christmas party should stay within budget. Right. One of the main purposes of this aim grid, as we know, is to see the interdependencies between the, those fields here. And we can see this practically by, for example, asking, are there any other, for example, stakeholders? Or looking a little bit closer at the clients. We could find out, for example, that in our company, 20% of staff um, comes from non-Christian cultures. And if we see that, for example, then we see already that maybe even the end result, the Christmas party, is not the right end result anymore. But we should rename it, perhaps, in a year-end party. We can see here the aim grid demonstrates the various interaction between those four fields. It helps a lot to clarify a task. For example, if we get if we are being delegated uh, a task and we see that one of those fields is missing, we know which questions to ask. And it also helps to be able to present uh, a project to others in a very concise way.